lightless sloth here still can't fly and today we are back at ace attorney phoenix Wright trilogy yep that was awful order uh apologize for the delay of this one it's been a um rough week and i don't know if friday we'll have a video or not it might it might not last week was a shock i got one out so with that being said i apologize but with that being but without further ado let's continue into the trial it's been oh really it's been since 6 6 today it's 6 14 for me wow Oof, in a couple days uh all right now you gotta remember this what was i okay yeah 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 Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow J actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of the Global Studios. Is it possible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime? The evidence presented during the trial will all prove to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Okay, here we go. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. Explain to the guy map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. What's flickering above the man that's saying all my words out loud? Above his head, there's an employee area. The actors didn't run through their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. So it's upside down. The security lady that works at the studios here is at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there's this gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of murder, on October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the produ... Wow, what happened? Game? You okay? The production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. After lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went on to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the scary lady got to the guard station. Now, jump in to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. She... And that's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? No, I don't want to listen to it again. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon is a spear. How medieval. Okay. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is... What did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Oh no. Oh god, I'm already lightheaded today, and this is gonna kill me. Will the witness declare a name? <laughs> oh, that's. Oh god. <coughs> oh no! My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. See, Medgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Oldbag, dearie. So just call me Grandma. Let know the young as an oldbag. Whenever you still have to show me, if you need to become a name, you can believe it. But there is a boy you have to just say that. You call me an oldbag as a cry to cry to your son. See? Okay. Woo. Objection. I objected to witnesses talking to this. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. 
I was just going to do the good part, dearie. Perhaps we get to testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, yeah, it was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you? You know your stuff, dearie. You may be getting your testimony. Please, don't fuck me. <laughs> she sure is one hell of an old bag. What is that supposed to mean, Phoenix? Don't be ageist. On the day of the mur- at the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through it there since in the morning. I will, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 p.m. when I got to the guard station. After, after the main gate from then till 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30, right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. All right. You saw a defendant then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Okay! I'm trying to think. I would like to see my... Hold on. It's been... For you guys, less time. For me, it's been a hot minute. Well, actually, no. Maybe it was about the same time. Let's look at our evidence. Diet 2.30... Guide map to the local st okay. Card key for studio employees grant entry to studio one. Taken at the gate, two o'clock. Okay. Spear is found struck stuck in the victim. Okay. That's what we got. That's what we got so far. So uh let's back up. Day of the murder, right uh, one, that's cracked, Pearl Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since the morning. I well had some errands to do run that morning. Can I press that? What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Well, actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers. Observing, you know. Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, don't you lock the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Hammer's run-throughs, always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see a Susan in my run-through, too. You can quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Anyway, there's one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from 9 until 5. Okay. Press, I, I guess? You see the victim then? Did I shoot the poor hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. Am I doing this right? Do I have to keep pressing? There's not really much to... So you're watching the whole time? No breaks? Not even a second? Uh, of course! I'm a professional, you know? Or are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can eat! I can watch you eating those donuts at the same time! Whippersnapper? Whippersnapper? Old windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? So, the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now, yes, that is true. How'd you know that? <laughs> I have my ways. That overdressed young detective told me. I found him so done and he talked and talked. You ask me, that detective isn't cut out for his job. Poor detective comes to getting ratted out by a security guard. Interesting to me because I was to watch a certain man walk right past me at 2 p.m. Two? You sure? Sure as spit. Well, who was the man? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might stray something. Like a pelvic muscle, if you catch my drift. <laughs> now, now, don't get your skivvies and all the bunch. Tell you who it was. Okay, wait, right there. Okay, here, 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 here. You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know that. Cause all you don't know that. You don't know that. Screw you. <laughs> Let me get this straight, old bag or Mrs. Old Bag, Miss Old Bag. It's Miss, so don't go breaking my heart. 
You've been saying since yesterday you saw Mr. Powers, correct? We're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of the Neo... Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Olbag. Is this the Mr. Powers you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can blindly see his powers, right? No, they can't. Um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. In this case. Oh, that was a new face. I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss or Will Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not approve that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmm, nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised? The prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed of all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. See? Oh, no. My old windbag has left even Edgeworth's speech, so she's good. Let's hear about your proof, then. I never said anything I don't mean, I mind you. That morning during the run-through of the action scene, some powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You see he's dragging his legs. See? Clear as day. That's all I knew. It was powers. Happy? Hmm. So, he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross examine your witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Oh, thanks for telling me what to do, though. All right, time to make you squeal, old lady. <laughs> I never... Okay. Whipper snapper! Okay. Hey, I haven't even said anything yet. I mean, I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow. Now, up and up. You know, today I was wanting my job pointing fingers this way. It's time to make an old lady want to cry. Mr. Wright, please, for our sake, st st try not to upset the witness. I think Edgeworth has met his match. Okay, let's press this. Who was present at the run-through? Well, let's see. There was Powers. He's a still samurai. And poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate. And me. And what exactly were you doing? Observing. Just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run through then. I saw Powers trip and fall. Okay, I don't need, I don't need to read her voice a second time. Trip and fall? Yeah, she think he's supposed to be a still samurai. What a laugh. So, so Powers sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. And want any prune juice? You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? I don't need to know about your <laughs> arthritic hips. <laughs> where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Hmm. You make it to your testimony. He broke one of the props. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This is this strikes me as a significant detail. I better I better write this down in the court record. Okay, where? Oh, there's the tape. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Was Mr. Powers' ankle badly sprained? Not so bad he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. That's the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? 
Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where is the Steel Samurai costume now? Uh, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see a Steel Samurai, yes? And then it's clear the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. This judge is stupid as hell. I'm gonna eject. Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities. We have to agree that the photo shows the Steel Samurai. No one's photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that a possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue your testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Alright, here we go again. I'm gonna press your ass. The time of poor Hammer's death at 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to Steel before was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross the game with the witness. Okay, I'm trying to think here. Well. Okay. Am I still pressing? Is this still a thing? How do you know that? Then I just explained, I gave Don to the young detective. And then after some rubbish about it being a secret pal, he told me everything. I see Detective uh, Gumshoes shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. The only person I saw in the studio. Do I have anything I can... I don't have anything. So I'm just gonna keep pressing, maybe something will happen. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Shunny. No, nobody's suspicious looking bashed by at all. Nobody's suspicious looking, right. No one else went there. Hmm. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before 1 p.m.? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked them in gates for no one could get it. I mean, I can, come on. You can climb that. I'm sorry. You can climb that. If that's a van on the right side, that's let's just say it's a somewhat taller van. That wall, there's no freaking way. Not to mention, if they had, I would have seen them. Okay. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone getting going to the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let them have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy? Oh, long day for Edgeworth. Oh, the back sure has balls. Or, well, you know what I mean. Can I touch him? <laughs> Old windbags have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? Time apart. Oh, wait. Okay, we're back in the beginning. Um, shoot, shoot, shoot. Am I showing this again? That is true. Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I guess I'm doing this again? I am! Okay. Okay, I'm still... Okay, cool. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sure, Sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture? And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. 
Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. My very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15, 2 p.m., photo number two. Even I know that it means it's taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue is, here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Aha! Uh -huh. Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Damn! Order, order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. You are a dumb judge! Actually, I think that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access. The security lady herself. Yeah? Why do you mind my snapper? The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Uh, well, yes, that's what it seems it would mean, dearie. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, ahem, I, I don't understand these new fangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help. Huh? B believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Hmm, some help you are. You are a whippersnapper too. What? Whippers whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah, th that's right. Ah, I was remembering something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than a steel samurai. Well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, I see. Your testimony, please. Okay. Every day after I finish my gardenia, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on a security camera computer and check them. I throw them out. I throw out any photos that aren't special looking, you see. Come think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Okay. Mrs. Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Raya, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I say this is a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Well, yeah, we're only 20, almost, well, because of the uh, intro, maybe 23 minutes in to a trial. <laughs> this sucker's going to go on for another five episodes, probably. <laughs> All right, I have one other porn job to do. Let's press it. That's right, check all the people that passed by the Mig 8 today. A close look at every one of the photos that security camera takes. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are so frustrating. Reminds me of a coworker I have. Okay. But here's the problem. You threw out a... You, how exactly do you determine what is suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking full power photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it now. Oh wait, I don't have to. I don't have to read it twice. I've already done this before. Well, who was? Who in the heck who was that in that photo you raced? Hmm, a fanboy. Fanboy? Just the old samurai fanboys, real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Wait a second, didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked him in gates and no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes to the employee area. You remember that drain? Now we can't see the drain. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, Anne. Anne? Anne? They're kids, children, whippersnappers. Kids? So on the photo that you erased, it was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? Oh no, I just remembered another voice I had that for. God damn it. 
Order, order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on the way to the that day? One was still samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be about second or third grade. Yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A hey boy in second or third grade? Hmm. I assume it'd be hard, if not possible, for a young boy to wield a samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. How do you know? How do you Well, I guess it did stab through a person, so it has to be, like, real. And I said it didn't pay much mind. That's why I erased the data. Uh, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense to prosecute you consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Oh boy! <clears throat> Here we go. Mr. Powers? Yes? Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? Uh, I didn't go to the studio. I, I was sleeping, honest. So who's the Steel Samurai in the security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone who would want to steal a sam Steel Samurai costume. So where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> you're, the only, you're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day! Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not op optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time! Okay, let's go. Uh, what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. Oh, we're going back. Oh, we're. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're going back in. Court now reconvened for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. It was like maybe two minutes tops. Mr. Ardworth, will you present the prosecution thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studio is a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. There's still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> the demons came out of me. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your thoughts? Oh my god. I'm dying. The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear what, who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. Is that really, like... I mean, technically the boy's a witness. Is the stakes weren't high enough. So who's this person other than Mr. Powers who committed the murder? Okay. I'm still saying this, right? It was the grade school boy. Why is anyone saying anything? Bah! Are you seriously suggesting the boy did it, Mr. Wright? Grade school boy kills veteran action star with spear. For one thing, the murder weapon was at the Steel Samurai. Would you care to explain just how the boy would have obtained it from him? Hmm, maybe that was a dumb move on my part. Maybe? Maybe? How about absolutely, Nick? Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I have to penalize you as a warned. Is it the- is it gonna- Uh... Um... I mean... I- it's, it's, I'm trying to think. She was at her post. 
Huh? Resistant, the Steel Samurai costume was in her dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she got the Steel Samurai. So you're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. Oh no, is it gonna be security lady you have to put down? If you're serious, you got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Oh, oh duh, bad feeling. Remember the testimony concerning Power's injury? Powers in the old hammer. Oh shoot! I had to run there on me. What about the assistant? Oh, her. She was cleaning up backdrops. I think she didn't know about the power's ankle. But she could be dragging. She could be dragging her foot. Like she's smaller than him, so the the legs would be, you know, bent. The assistant knew nothing. Mr. Powers' injury. She could look the samurai look with the costume. But she couldn't walk the steel samurai walk. She wouldn't have limped. Ugh. That kind of takes the legs out front underneath that case. Okay, fine! Fine! It's a security lady! This is stupid. It's a security lady. Wendy Olbag. Shoo! The steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they've been watching the action scene run through. Okay, if you guys think I'm stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, I don't, I, like, all three of them are, like, the assistant is unknown where she is. The boy is MIA. We don't know where the hell he is. And yet he's young. But, you know, he could have done something still. And then... The security guard, I mean, that's kind of an easy choice. I don't, like, it's too, I don't know. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, old bag. Wait, wait swipper, snapper. Order, order. Uh, is this true, old bag? Oh, man, it's Miss Old Bag and you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she had no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the samurai costume. Then slipped through the studio one to see the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent detective reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes too, baby! That's odd. Is this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump on up with a new objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you think... Are you all think I did? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there and do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this whole way? I'm gonna press... The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. Why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks clear motive too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy, the, the one who uh, photos I raced. He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? And that doesn't matter. See? Okay, we're back to where I, my logic is. Where technically, we should still look for this uh, small child. He probably, like, he could have seen some shit or have other evidence. So I'm not wrong in picking him first. Like, yeah, she's sus AF, but I mean, there's a child, a witness, a suspect. We... Running loose, fiddling with drains and pipes and stuff. When I was that age, are you putting my old man in 10 seconds tops? Hmm, your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy's not the killer. Why are you mean so sure? Or is it, is it be nice to the kids and meet your elder day, whippersnapper? I approve. Proof? Indeed, now let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder?
You needed a car key. Right? The scene of the murder, as we all know, is Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a key card? I see. Well, that would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> the windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edwards, please find out more about your witness, Miss Wendy. What was her name? Something old bag, your honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. Crunch. Yeah! I did awful. Oh. Wait a second. I'm not going to say all oh, you run up barking up the wrong tree. Me. I'm talking. Great. Everyone's so happy about this. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what's the meaning of this? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify. Okay. Here we go. Lumbo Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me they had to pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to act to accuse me of not letting them get away scot-free... Thank you. M Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court till now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay. What if this is a... I guess, I, I'm, I guess I'm pressing to see who. So you're told not to talk. That's right, by studio and TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. There were... Alright, uh, there were some people. I uh, stop. Uh, give myself a rest. Who were these people? Wrong button. Well, the director and producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes. Well, I'm surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime. They had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in Studio 2 trailer. Here we fucking go! Studio 2! There's a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map. Here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the uh, the path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross examination? I think I already asked all my questions, but sure, why not? They said they had nothing to do with it. See, so they knew about it. Miss Olbeck, this is a trial for murder. I know that's silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it, and they gave me a little bonus on the side. So that you got your bonus and you still talked. Hmm, I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. No! I guess there's no harm in getting as much info as I can. Wait, oh. So... Did I already press that? Did I already press this? So they actually, so they were actually at the, in the studio. Yes, the whole day when they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. <sighs> I'll kill this woman! I swear it. I'm gonna throw this in the court of law. <laughs> I feel sorry for Edgeworth. Almost, she really left him hanging on this one. 
Okay, there we go. Alright, the final press. Let's go! Let's get all the information out. Them? Who are these people? Well, director and producer, for starters. The... Oh, okay, I right, press this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Studio 2 trailer, Studio 2. Yep, there it is. Your Honor, we have learned there were others at the Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and er, some big wigs were all present. Yes, yeah, we're standing here. They have not been questioned. I hope that is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Olbag, and more information about the these other people we have just been told of. Oh, he's gonna lose it. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceeding the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. Is it? Is it really? Okay. Cool. Awesome. Possum. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's it's nothing. Or should I say? <laughs> we'll be we'll be down going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So for now, so now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So Nick, have I figured out just who it was in that still samurai costume? Could it really have been the old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be bad, the bad guy for a bit, take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag, I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studio. Right, we'll be back in the visit you soon. Th thanks, guys. <laughs> awesome possum to be continued on Monday. As long as things are um, still on schedule. Wow. All right, everyone. Let's uh, everyone place your bets again in the comments. What do you think happened? Uh, this is surely a mystery, is it not? With that being said, thank you guys for our what? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, like and subscribe, and as always, stay slothy. Bye.